Two years ago today, a woman from Shaler disappeared. Police say there's been no sign of Janet Walsh or her car. It's uh, very um, difficult to know that her vehicle hasn't been located. And Janet Walsh was last seen driving her 2018 Chevy Trax. It's silver with license plate number KTW 6007. All right, so we have something right here already. Well, what are the odds is this, that, that the vehicle that we, everyone's been looking for is sitting right here in this marina? Is there another one hiding down here we don't know about? Or is there the one we're looking for down here? Today we are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Allegheny River. We're starting at Deer Ridge Boat Ramp looking for Janet Walsh, who went missing January 19th, 2020, and she went missing 60 days after her husband ended up committing suicide. Depression, she decided to commit suicide herself. The vehicle that we're looking for is a 2018 Chevy Trax. And it did have OnStar in the vehicle that was equipped. However, when they checked it, it wasn't getting a reading which is definitely indicative of being underwater or in a garage or in a garage or under heavy canopy yes correct with, with that being said she was from shaler township which is just a suburb sort of north ish outside of right where we are pittsburgh pennsylvania we're on the allegheny river and the local authorities have actually searched some of this river before uh you know they did suspend their efforts due to the winter i believe that year they said that they were going to continue them and here we are we're going to pick up right where they left off we're going to search this entire area where where they said they've searched but if we haven't searched it it hasn't been searched when here's what happens also is that when you come in fresh on a you know something somebody that just went missing and they believe that they're in the river a vehicle is going to read a lot different right out of the gate you know within a couple of weeks as opposed yeah. to here we are we're coming in a year and a half later yep. now you have you know zebra mussels that may be on it you have sediment and dirt and you know it's going to you know read differently on the sonar right so with this this is now a colder case you know there's no emphasis being put on hey this is really important it's fresh in everybody's mind so that's where we come in that we're going to you know as Doug mentioned we're going to cover territory that has already been searched we have half a dozen boat ramps within kind of a triangle period from or, you know triangular you know, area, area yeah. from her home but then in addition to that we can expand our search because there's at least a dozen boat ramps here in the Pittsburgh area yeah we, we definitely have our work cut out for for us but a lot of what makes sense is right here where we're at from this area on down. Yeah, so we're gonna put uh, two boats in the river. We're also gonna introduce Jacob, if you've not yet uh, seen him, he's gonna be running one of the boats Mr. with us Grubbs. today. We're gonna to talk more about him later as well and all of the uh, amazing stuff that he brings to the table. But in the meantime, let's get in the water and go see if we can find Janet at this location. Let's do a sonar overview if you've never been with us before. We have two different set sonar systems shooting three different angles. First one over here is live scope, which by the way is another, it might just be some trees here. We'll go back over it in just a minute. So this one is shooting live scope. This is a Garmin 8612 with live scope on it. So anything that's happening in real time, you'll be able to see like fish swimming by, we can stop right over a target, drop a magnet on it, or drop a grappling hook. This one over here is our hummingbird is the Solix 12. With this one, it's touchscreen, and we're able to do down imaging. So the way that we read this one is, you can see 15 feet here. This is our black water column. So anything that starts at the yellow here 
is the bottom of the river or the lake bed. So there's 15 feet deep is how you read this. Now this one here is side imaging. So this is casting 75 feet to the left, 75 feet to the right. So here's our boat, the heading we're going, anything black is water column. And you can also see the little grid patterns on here for 18, 36, 54, and 75. So that will relate to water column black. And that's how you read it. The other thing that we'd like to do is we'd like to run between 1.9 and 2.5 miles an hour. It tends to give us the best readings. And that is what we're doing. And when we see an object pop up on screen here, such as we did back here, you'll be able to, we can zoom in on it and yeah, we'll show you like this one right here. We're gonna head back over that one. I don't believe that's a car, but we're gonna get a, going to get a different reading over the top of it. Yeah, that's just some uh, bushes. So the note that I have from somebody from their fishing community of her husband said that uh, there are three possible entrances to the river close to Sh Shaler. They are the Sharpsburg Marina, Millville Marina, and Washington's Landing. So I think that the Sharpsburg from here is the next closest and that's within the, the zone that Lieutenant, they were doing their water right. investigation. Yeah, exactly. So they did, they started uh, Sharpsburg is just inside of Highland and they their search area was from Highland all the way to downtown 31st Street Bridge. Okay. So that puts us right into there. So if we put in there, we can go up to Highland and then come back down. It's not that far. Okay, let's do that. All right, I like that plan. Jacob Grubbs, Chaos Divers, link is in the description. He comes out and he helps us from time to time with this whole AWP movement. Last night he was doing a little more research and like you really went above and beyond this one. Like you put in, you know, here's with the uh, husband, the husband's mass. We've got Janet Walsh's church. Here's where she lived, right? Is that yes. what this one is? That's where she lives. Okay. And then I was referring to kind of the triangle of this morning when we were up at Deer Creek. Yep. Where we're at right now is we're actually at Sharpsburg, which is, you know, kind of where you were putting that triangle, but also where the search took place from the uh, lieutenant, as well as where one of the people with their within their fishing group also said, hey, check out Sharpsburg. Okay. And then he was also referencing Mill Millville which uh, is not on your map, but we'll pull that up a little bit later, okay. which is downstream just a little bit more right here. We have a lot of, let me pull up the map here. So if we zoom in on where we're at at the Sharpsburg Island Marina here, we just put in here this one. We were talking to some of the gentlemen uh, up at the little lodge here. They said that we're gonna find two cars and a van in here. A van, yep. And then right over off of here we need to search as well because there's like this little hidden boat ramp that comes in here as well so we want to definitely check that and then you were also mentioning another spot and i i saw it last night on the map and i completely forgot about it but up here at the farmer x baker there's that little hidden boat ramp up there as well yeah. doesn't look like you know it really gets used for putting boats in for, so i don't see any trailer parking and boats going in there but for a vehicle to go in there, absolutely. The issue is we cannot run up river from here. We have this dam right here. What do they call these uh, head headwater dams, or what do they call these ones? It, low water dam. It's like a, it's like just like a spillway type deal to slow the water down just just a little bit. Yeah, very, very dangerous. You don't want to come up on the bottom side. It'll actually take your boat and it'll flip your boat. So don't ever mess with these upstream or downstream. Stay away from them for sure. So before we jump up there let's start searching here at sharpsburg let's move on down to millville and some of those other ones so this is the millville there's going to be that marina right here that was in question and then further down we've got another uh location or two there's definitely a lot of possibilities in all these boat ramps here so yep, yep. all right well let's uh, start running it see what we can find and then if we need to we'll come back up cool can i take it down hey jacob i need you to verify that if, if our scuba mask is 
So I put my mask in here, and, and he said he was okay with using it. Okay. All right. So you're good with that? Yep, yeah. that works. We don't have fins. Right. That's fine because we're going down the line. If we find something, we'll mark it with a target. We'll use the pony bottle and we'll just jump on it real quick to verify. And then I also have a, a dive light in here too. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, sir. I got a car, I got a car, I got a car. I swear I got a car. Yep, I think so. Is that a car? I don't know. It is six, 11 feet long. Long enough to be a car. It's only 10 feet down. We have another car. Right here, we have another car. That is definitely a Vigo. There's no mistake in that. I've been a lifeguard for 13 years. Even though we're unable to save people we recover, I am able to do the next step, and that is help bring them out of the water, which goes right along with lifeguarding. We, we're pretty sure it's upside down, so when you get there, you should be able to grab right onto it and work your way around. All right, I'm just gonna go put the GoPro on it instead of my hands. So Josh, our, uh, Jacob has a flashlight too. Yeah, here. A, a wrist light. We can drop a magnet right on it if you want a magnet on it. Josh, you want a magnet on it? Sure. I also have that pony bottle with air. You want air? I don't need that. Okay. I don't know. I, I know that you uh, you say there is one vehicle here, but I see two. There could be two. Yeah, there's uh, one right next to the other. Yeah, I'm just seeing one at the moment. I'll show you that. I also uh, don't want you over me in case I pop back up. Yeah, mo yeah motors are off. Okay. Doug's going to put a magnet on it for you. So you can just go right down to it. All right, I'm just going to go poke it with a GoPro and come back up. Okay. All right, so he's down on it already. Are we looking for a crossover? Yeah. It's like a teal blue. It's not that deep. Okay, teal blue down there is gonna look silver. Not a teal blue, that was a reflection. <laughs> it's upside down. The tires are really skinny. Um, I'm gonna go around the back side of your Do you want the pony bottle? I mean, you can breathe and stay down for yeah, like a minute or two. A I'm just not used to it. Okay. Let me try this. Just so everybody knows, Josh is a lifeguard. He is trained to hold his breath for two minutes. This is not the first time that he has done this. Try to tell. You wanna look at it? Yeah. But instead of you popping up and down, why don't you just take the pony bottle? Just put it on your belt. Just put it on your waist. Here, it's fine. Give me the mask. It's really easy for you to use with the mask on. Harmless. Okay. You're gonna be addicted. Put the mask on first. Put the mask on first. All right. Come here. Put this around you. Here, lift your, lift your left arm up. Left arm up, put this under you. There you go. Grab that. There you go. Here's here's the other one. Put that on. I got I got the tank. You got it? All right. Big end down. Now take hold on here. Now go, just go right here and test it out. Here I hold on. Hold on to this while you test it out. Good? All right. What this is it? Angled. What is it? It's really hard to tell. Did you get a license plate? A lot, no, no license plate. Uh, I got a lot of video on the side of it. It's dark in color. It's definitely not a truck, not a van. It's like a small, small kind of car. Um, I'm interested in this one more over here. That one doesn't look like it's crazy old, but it's definitely not brand new. Okay. Um, there's another one right here as well that I want to check well, out. Was there a license plate on it at all? Well, it was hard, it was hard because the back of the boat came under this boat. Or I mean, the back of the car came under the boat, so I was worried about going too far into the boat, not being able to come up. Um, yeah, he, he, he. I can All go right. again. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I mean, I'll go I, to the front of the car. I mean, is it is it a Chevy? That's the first thing. Is it a Chevy or is it an automobile? Ford? 
Is it a uh, I haven't, SUV crossover? I haven't identified that yet. Okay. I'll go again. How you guys see down there? I'm literally putting my face against the tire trying to look for anything and it's just like oh, I can't recognize anything down there. You're messy. I worked my way all around the car, went all the way back to the back of it. Um, tried to look for the license plate in the back, couldn't feel it. All I see is green, dark brown down there. Felt all the way around the side, around the fenders. I want to check out this second yeah, one. Yeah, you got just enough air to go down and check that one. So, so you don't have long, but you, you can go down there for, I would say a good two minutes, that's it. Which should be more than enough. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. I got a piece of it. Looks like it's a teal or something, uh, aqua. Do you have any idea what that came off of? Like the side of it? Now, that's a bigger vehicle. It's not as small as this one over here. Okay. Um, is there a serial number? This something? is a Plymouth. That's gonna be the minivan. Plymouth minivan. Yep. Cool. Was that on the back hatch? Uh, you can see the Plymouth sign right there. Old school, it's nice. very old. Okay. Uh, I, I don't even know if Plymouth even still makes vehicles. This could be a minivan. Kind of it, it, so back then the Plymouth era, this era like Dodge Caravan, same thing. You'd never tell the difference okay. unless it said Plymouth. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's not it. You said this vehicle right here is definitely not a newer vehicle. It's not new enough. Okay. I trust I, I trust that, but we got another vehicle under this boat. I'm gonna follow the hole down, then I'm gonna follow the hole back up, just so I'm safe. I got eyes on Doug. Yeah, I don't see it. Where was I at on the scanner? You up behind up? All right, he's halfway down, he's eight feet down. He is touching the car. He is on the car right now. All right, he just let go of the magnet line. He's at the back of the car. Uh, he just got pushed off of it. The current just pushed him off of it. He's pulling the magnet line. He's coming up. Yeah, he's coming up right here. That vehicle's been cleared, there's no license plate, and it is a Chevy. Chevy we're looking for? No, it is a very old Chevy. Okay. Completely rusted out, minivan. Like an old Chevy Uplander. Okay. Yeah, you uh, I blew, went around. You blew off of it, didn't you? You ended up down off of it a little bit? No, I went, the, the, the end goes way down there and down oh, there. Okay, yeah. So look we have two minivans yep. and an old Chrysler. Okay. Plymouth Chrysler Chevy. On to the next one, let's get out. Go find some. Let's go find Jamie. Okay. All right, so after finding these three vehicles here at the beginning of the marina, we were told that there's another vehicle possibly over here, and just, we're gonna clear all the rest of these boats, which is what Jer is doing right now. We're gonna get another tank prepped for the rest of our river search in case we have to go down on any more, and that's pretty much where we're at at this moment, is just clearing the rest of these marina areas to make sure that there's not a fourth or fifth car in here 
where we just found these three. This next uh, marina that we're going to, like for the boat ramp, is actually, so it's the Mill Bell Riverfront Park. And it's like a weird boat ramp that comes way down the side, maybe there. I don't see a boat ramp in the marina. Yeah. But this one was in question for the, uh, email that I received earlier. So we'll check that boat ramp down at the end of it and then keep heading down the river. This one's going to be at the uh, 40th Street Bridge. Yep, there's our car. Cool. I believe it to be a car, not an SUV, but like Doug was saying, you know, we're here, so we need to clear it. Yeah. You put eyes on it and verify. It's a radiolysis plate, HLX538. The last inspection sticker on this is of March of 1993. I was able to get one wheel clean. It is a Cadillac. Windows were down, full of silt. I stuck my hand in, but I wasn't trying to fill around too much. Didn't feel anything out of the ordinary, but like I said, it's full, but very old. I would say uh, 80s model Cadillac. The front of it is buried with two trees. All right, well, let's keep searching. Is this the non-emergency line? No, we don't take any kind of emergency. Okay, all right, yeah, so I'm, I'm a, um, a documentary filmmaker. Uh, we were diving on some vehicles today in the Allegheny River, and I, I, I was able to pull a plate off of a vehicle, and I was wondering if I could give you that plate number to see possibly if it's connected to anything? Um, yeah, just, what's the number? It's gonna be Henry Lincoln X-Ray 538. 538? Correct, yes is it sir. A Pennsylvania plate? It is a Pennsylvania plate, yep. We have, we have at least four numbers in our, in our plate. Uh, th do so th this, this plate, Wait, this plate was last dated in 1993. All right. But this was a vehicle that we could tell hadn't been uh, uh, found before, so we was just yeah. wondering. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if our system has like. So, uh, but I'll, I'll run it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. No worries. You give me a call back if you need to know anything else. All right. I mean, it didn't sound like they were even willing to look it up. It sounded like I wasn't really worried about it. Hopefully, it's not connected to anything. Because uh, if it is, may not ever know. 16 miles of river that we covered today. At this point, Janet's Walsh's disappearance still remains a mystery. One thing we do know is where she's not at this moment. You know, we covered a lot of ground today. You know, and, you know that's a, if anything, it's a positive that we know where she's not. But without you guys, 
we wouldn't be here right now. We would have never known about this case. And because of you guys, it's what allows us to continue to be able to do what we do. The subscribing, the liking, the sharing, the hitting the bell notification, following us on Facebook, here on YouTube. You guys' support, your donations is what allows all of this to be possible. And, and not just for us here at AWP, but you know, you also saw Jacob Grubbs from Chaos Divers that was involved with us today. His link is also down in the description. Be sure to always support anybody that you see on our channel. Check that description at all times. We appreciate you being here today. We got some more miles to hit tonight. We have another case up in Rome. We're gonna go work. We appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next one.